I'm in production orders here. Let's have a look at the concept of starting uh, quantities that weren't the full quantity of the production order. So doing partial production. Um, so you can do multiple processes through a production order, for example. So let's go and create a production order. And I'll do it for this product. And let's do, for example, uh, five. And that's original demand or requirement, for example. So I'm going to hit create. And let's just get this to the point that we can work on it. So I'll estimate, I'll schedule and then I'll release. Now I'm releasing the production order, I'm not releasing a quantity here, I'm just saying the production order can be worked on. So at this stage we have a requirement for five, but um, there might be multiple reasons why I might only be able to start one, for example, maybe you don't have enough materials or, or uh, people or what have you to, to produce the full quantity, or the customer might only just want to receive uh, a partial amount, for example. So I can hit start, and in this case the default is going to be the full five, but I'm going to say that I'm only going to produce one, for example. And to keep it simple, I'm just going to end the picking list in the route card, and we'll say OK, and let that go through. Now, at this stage, you'll see that the report is finished, remainder is five, but we've only produced one. If I look at our transactions, you'll see that we've done five as an ordered, but we haven't reported as finished yet. Now, let's have a look at the report as finished. So, you'll see that the good quantity is one based on what I've finished on the RACAR journal um, and what I'd started. Now, what we need to pay attention to is the end job parameter. Um, so if I leave this turned on, it's going to stop me from doing the additional. So let's post this through and see the effect of the end job. So I'm going to say report is finished one, so we'll say OK, and then we'll um, finish. Now if I look at the uh, list, you'll see that the report is finished remainder is now zero. Um, so it thinks it's ended, meaning that it's we don't want to produce any more on that. So if I look at the transactions, you'll see that the receive quantity is one. Um, so essentially we're finished one on the production. Now we can, if we haven't really finished, we need to produce more there is a process to reset that, but before I do that, let's have a look at another example and see the effect of not using that parameter. So in this case, let's say, for example, I'm going to produce four, and let's go through the whole process. So I'll quickly do this estimate, schedule, release, and we'll start. So in this example, we'll do the same. We'll do one and we'll end, end, and OK. And when I go to do the report is finished this time, um, you'll see that it's still one, but I'm not going to mark the end job. So I'm going to leave that unchecked. So we'll say OK. Oops, say hit cancel. Let's try it again. Um, one, I'm not going to mark the end job, so we'll say OK. So you'll see now the report is finished, remainder is now three, and I can come back and start, whereas the previous order I can't come back and start. So what I could do on this one is simply go start, um, it'll tell me the remainder, which is on that one four, so three left, so let's do the end, and we'll say OK, and Let's report as finished, so this will be three. And in this case, I'm going to leave the end on because I've finished producing what I needed. So we'll say OK. So in this case, now report is finished, remainder is zero. We've produced our full four. And if we go to our transactions, we'll see that we did a receipt of one and a receipt of three. So that makes our four, obviously. Now, what about this order that we did in the beginning that I can't start again, but I, I, I want to finish off this? Well, you can use the reset status option. So if I hit reset status and reset it to started, so we'll say OK. You'll see now that it'll update that says report is finished, remainder is now four, and then we can go back and start. So um, let's try and finish it off. So we'll say four to finish the remainder on this one. So we'll say okay, 
and let's do our report as finish and again if we we've now finished the four because we're reporting is finishing four and we're going to say end so we'll say okay um, and now we're back to the point where we've finished this production as well and if we have a look at transactions we'll see the um, two different receipts for that uh, order for example so that's a quick look at the reporters finished remainder now let's have a look at one uh, another example um, if you get an error message let's do a simple one I'm going to produce two for example and I'm going to go and schedule that it's get it back to the point um, we'll just have a look at an error message if you try to do two reporters finish but not run through production for example so let's go one and end okay so in this case let's report as finish and let's end so I'm going to produce one we're going to end it and this will leave us back to our um, situation where I can't do any more. If you go and try to post another report as finished journal and say well I'm going to report as finished one um, and then say OK this will give you an error message because effectively you can't report as finished uh, again because you haven't gone back through and uh, produced any uh, uh, goods for example. So that's the error message if you just try to put another report as finished journal. So keep that in mind, um, use the reset status, set it back to started, that'll leave you with the option to do the start again on the uh, amount that you need to go and finish. So it's a quick walk through um, uh, having a look at starting partial quantities on a production order if you need to start it and finish just a part amount.